I kind of one day out of the blue decided to be a designer and then I started to do little things, working with different designers, training. And then about three years ago I started my own business and you know we've been doing like little small shows until the BFC invited us to be part of the London Fashion Week. Super girly and really sexy, the clothes. So I think it was just nice to kind of toughen them up a little bit. It's very kind of boyish and androgynous. We're using a lot of kind of wet looking products, a lot of grease, a lot of shine, lots of kind of tooth marks in the combs. Um, so you get that kind of slightly rigid effect and kind of side parts, a bit of a quiff around the front area. So they feel very kind of like, you know, beautiful boys in kind of gorgeous dresses. The makeup look is very natural, very fresh, young, sophisticated woman, not a lot of colour, absolute perfection, fresh, a little bit of cheek, a little bit of highlighter, no mascara, no liner, no lipstick. It's really nice to see skin looking, you know, fresh and not completely done. They've got very beautiful, very luminous, gorgeous young girls. based on the idea of mixing light through opaque um, surfaces. So it was about light and shadows. And then um, um, I basically started to research one of my favorite artists, uh, Lucia Fontana. And they all they took from there and the colors were a personal reference. I wanted to do something different from last season because I've been doing something very organic and I wanted to do something quite clean and you know fresh. So we used lots of colors like lime, tangerine, we used beautiful yellow, we used beige, black, we used lots of colors. Well, I think we mixed them in a very sophisticated way. So yeah, I think it worked really well. Colors were really beautiful. I loved how he kind of mixed um, the, ye the yellow and the pink. That was a really nice combination. And I'm starting to see, I saw it in Paris, I saw it a little bit in New York, and I'm seeing it here. Um, you're seeing a lot of mint, and it's really a refreshing color. So I think that's sort of a trend that I'm seeing on the runway for right now. What I wanted to do is I wanted to do a silhouette that's slightly different because I, I, am, I am known for doing really fitted bodycon dresses. So what I did is I altered silhouette, right, high waisted with volume. But I wanted to use like a hard look to it, not to make it too feminine. So I used a lot of leather with satin organzas draped. And then there was a lot of um, printed silks as well. We, we did all the prints ourselves. Um, and they were all mixed either with leather or with satin organza, with silk. There's a lot of cotton as well, but the cotton is hidden because it's always got silk on top. Um, and yeah, I think it worked well. Charlotte Olympia, we've been working together for four seasons now. I love working with her. She really 
you know, she can really, she makes the most beautiful, well-finished, amazing shoes. And I think it works well with us. Fashion is a commercial, you know, enterprise. So um, I need to sell dresses in order to be have creative freedom. So therefore, um, I had to make sure that I, I am able to sell what I do. Whereas art, obviously, you have to sell it, but it's a completely different spectrum. You know, it's a completely different um, arena. the collection to be really clean and I wanted, wanted to, I've been doing something kind of, as I said, organic in the past and I decided to have, have a clean from a clean cut from that. Not like a change of direction, or more like, okay, I'm a little bit bored what I've done, it feels right to do this and, and I thought this space would be the right place to have it. And I think it worked well, didn't it? I love doing fashion, uh, I think it's just, you know, I really enjoy draping on the stand and thinking of how a woman is going to look beautiful according to my aesthetics. <laughs>